again, everybody. So the bubbles in the water. The bubbles in the water, I honestly don't know if this is a, a new concept for devotees to Santa Muerte or if it's always been around, I don't know. But I can tell you that I've seen it come up a lot online and people are concerned because well, for one, they've never done this before. Two, they've never seen this before. Three, they don't know how to react to it. Um, and they don't have any experience with any other traditions in which the bubbles in the water are uh, a prevalent signal for something. So I can tell you that I have spoken with people in which water cups <laughs> are a big, big, big part of certain religions and traditions. And because they, they believe that the water, the fluid, is the fluid of life. It's the fluid that sustains us all, which is true. So, uh, and it's one of the most basic offerings. It's, it's one of the most um, uh, powerful elements. And that we're all made up of it and everything is made up of it. So, in this case, the water is an offering. You happen to notice that there's bubbles in the cup. You're like, wait a minute, that's never happened before. What does that mean? Okay, so with the people that I've spoken with, uh, a lot of them are espiritistas. Espiritismo is a religion or a practice in itself, uh, apart from, separate from the Santa Muerte practice. So, when you have people that are devotees of the Santa Muerte, as well as espiritistas, it, they tend to mesh them together, which, I mean, makes sense, but it's not necessary to do so. They just bring their experience from their other tradition and they bring it into their, their practice and their veneration with the Santa Muerte. So, all of that aside, from what I've been told from certain espiritistas, the bubbles in the water are bad to them. Um, they're a signal that, in uh, I guess you could say, I don't know, invasive spirits are trying to come in, come into your, to your spiritual space, and their energy is creating those bubbles in the water. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly how they see it. That's just, that's the gist of what I got. You can ask one. You be, feel, feel free to ask an espiritista, uh, if you can find one, what their take on the bubbles in the water is. I'm pretty sure, actually, some YouTube videos have been uploaded on the subject. So feel free to search those because I am not an espiritista. Um, but when I see the bubbles in the water, knowing the little that I know, little, little, little tiny bit of Espiritismo, when I see the bubbles in the water, I don't think of it as good or bad. I just think of it as presence of spirit. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm hoping that at least an Espiritista can agree on that. That it just, that it means presence for sure of spirit. Now granted, the bubbles in the water, you know, okay, uh, scientifically speaking, the bubbles are going to happen a lot of times because it's trapped air, it can happen with temperature difference, uh, it's bound to happen, you know, so there's, you you have to think also with a logical mind, like, um, was this going to, does this happen all the time? Every time I get water from the tap or every time I pour w water from a bottled water, does this always happen? Well, then if it always happens, then it's, you know, the source. It's just weird when it randomly happens, you know? Like for me, it doesn't happen all the time. It only happens like once in a blue moon. And usually what follows is a message or um, high energy, I guess you could say, uh, tensions running high or an emotional situation about to occur uh, or, you know, something's about to go down to where the energy in the atmosphere is like lifted or the there's, you know, presence there. You can, it's palpable. You can feel it. So that's when it happens for me. Uh, like I said, not good nor bad. Just, hey, it's getting tense. It's getting like 
thick in here. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's getting, it's getting rowdy. You know, just want you to know storms are brewing. Storms aren't always bad, but a storm is a storm, you know? So that's when it happens to me. Um, you might be different. It might be a signal for you that um, a, a spirit or that she appreciates an offering, or it could be that another spirit is around, you know, because people tend to say that with her, other spirits follow, which if you think about it is pretty much common sense. So go feel free and ask in Espiritista how, how they feel about the bubbles in the water, or you can search it online and see what their take on it is. My take is neutral. That's how I feel. That's not to say that everybody feels that way. I would ask you to search how you feel when it happens. What is the impression that you get? Uh, what are the circumstances surrounding the, the current uh, environment? Like what's going on in your life when those bubbles pop up all randomly? What's, what's, what's happening? Are you fighting with someone? Are you, did you just get a, a promotion at work? Um, did you just put your all into a work team? You know, um, question yourself first and then go to the professionals and ask them what their take is. So I'll, I hope that this helped and I hope that it didn't cause more confusion. But with the practice, a lot of it is intuition and a lot of it is for your own sake, for your own knowledge, because this is your path. This is the path that you're traveling, not somebody else. So that's the difference between a practice and a religion. So, um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer and uh, I'll tell you when I don't know something. So, um, talk to you guys later. Have a good day.